So I have some uh, people that uh, are just moving over to Zojo want to do some really cool stuff with Mac OS X, like add a quick look view within a window and cycle through some files and whatnot. And this is actually pretty good to do with um, either Mac OS Lib or something like uh, Monkey Bread uh, Software's MBS Complete. Um, so you can add this within Zojo. This is HTML files. It'll just bring up a uh, browser view. And if you just select on the topics and do a simple find, you can see that they have a um, quick look panel and quick look view. And the view puts it in a uh, NS view within the window. And it works really nice. One of the things is um, this comes with um, some objects. So one is called a Coco Control MBS. You have to have all the MBS plugins installed to get this to uh, show up. But we also want to have a list box. So I'm going to bring up a list box and then I'm going to add a couple of buttons. So I'm just going to bring up buttons. And I'd rather just show you how to do this like this instead of already making a pre-made window. I know it takes a little bit longer, but a lot of these videos don't always show you how it is to kind of use the platform a bit. They just kind of assume some things. So let's make the width of this control at least uh, 350 by 350. We're gonna want this to move all directions except for that way. And I like to rename these things like, so I know exactly what I'm looking at. I don't like when it says button, list box, list box one. I don't really care for that um, because it's not really telling me what I need to know when I'm looking at it. So we're also going to show you how to also launch uh, these files, not just within a view, but within a panel. We're going to have um, a button here to add files. So I'm just going to call it add. And then I'm going to have another button over here. Call it Oops. Button remove. Okay, so we'll call this LB files. And let's set a couple properties here. We want this to stretch all different ways. We'll have a header, no focus ring. We'll have an initial uh, header of uh, files. This Coco um, item here has an event that we need of get view. Uh, we're going to need action events for our buttons. So let's just add these to each one here. And our list box will need um, several events. Number one will be the change event. We'll be also adding a background paint event to give us um, sort of that line look. And then we'll have an open event. Okay, so first um, we probably want to add our files. So we'll definitely uh, put in our um, add file action here. So let's uh, declare first a string. We'll call it pfold. And the reason we're doing this is a folder item to display in a list box will need to be a string. And then we'll also need to declare a uh, dialog or for an open dialog to get our files. And we'll make it a new open dialog. And then we need to declare a folder item and I'll just Okay, so now what we want to do is, because we're going to select some files, we're going to want to make it a multi-select, so the user can select more than one file. And then we want to tell our folder item to get those um, objects from here. With And then we're going to also, because we're on a map, we'll just do the show modular within um, self. So, because you can select multiple files, We'll have to declare an integer for that. 
and that'll be equal to uh, zero to um, the dialog, the open dialog um, file count, which is one of the properties, and we'll just subtract one from that. And then we'll close our loop here. Okay, so now we have to get the um, get the item from our dialog that's returned. So the item is where we use this integer here. And we should probably ask if the file exists. To solve any other problems later. Oops. Then. We have to put an S at the end of this. I know it's going to be a problem if we don't. Okay. And then we want to add a row. And we want to pass in that string. This should work here. Now there's something else we need to add down here. Um, and you'll notice when we add it, uh, these files to the list box, it won't have a selection. So I'm going to just, um, okay, so we have some files here. We're just going to, and as you can see, nothing is selected, right? So what we want to do here is at the end to do the selection is tell the selected And so we'll say zero. And if we say true, then it selects the first item in that list. So let's show that here. And as you can see, like uh, when I forgot to put declare as a folder item, that um, you know mistakes happen to everyone. So don't feel bad when it doesn't work. So as you can see, that worked fine. This here will allow us to, when we bring up the thing here, you can see, that now you can kind of see the files better. It's kind of got that same look it does in the find, finder area here. So we select a bunch of them. Okay, so if we want to move an item, we should have an area where we can remove our files. So we can do that now. We can declare an integer. And we'll say i equals list box list index. So this will get an actual the amount of items that are in the list box. So if i equals negative one, then that means there's no files. And right now, I won't really do anything if there are no files but later we can add some extra feedback. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Well, they stopped cutting the grass, but now it sounds like they're back again. Oh boy. Um, hopefully it's not gonna be too much of a problem. So all we have to do is tell the list box to remove a row. Okay, and the row that we want them to remove is based off the list index. Okay, so if something's selected, we also have to tell what will happen when you remove a row. Uh, it will remove the row, but it won't re-highlight the next row. So uh, to do that, we'll have to say if i equals zero, then else and and if so, we want to reselect. So this one here, oops, is how you would select it if there was. If you deleted basically the first one in the list. So if you deleted, if you deleted, so there's only like really one thing in the list, and it's at the top. This is how you would do it. Else, 
um, if you selected a file that was in the middle of the um, list and you wanted the next item from the thing that was deleted, we would do i minus one equals true. So if you literally select the bottom item, instead of going back to the top, it should go to the next item that's in the list. So that's what this will do. So let's actually take a look at this. Let's grab a couple. So if I remove an item here, as you can see, as it went up to the next item, or if I remove this last item in the list, you can see it goes up. And actually, it didn't actually remove the item. And I see why it actually didn't remove the item. I put this in the wrong area. So it did change the thing, but uh, what it didn't do is what I want is I want this line of code here. So let's make sure that it's working. That's why I should always keep testing. Okay. Let's grab some. And if I delete the bottom item, as you can see, it goes to the next item in the list. And that, as you can see, we got um, files showing up in our list box. We have an add and we have a remove item. Now we need to uh, show the preview, the preview of our items. Um, so to some properties to our window here. So I'm actually going to need two for this entire project. One, we're going to need uh, one. I'm going to call it my QL item. And I believe this is off screen, so I want to make sure that you guys can see it. My QL item. And we want to give it a type called QL Preview View MBS. So our view is called this. It's a class. So what's, all we're doing is we're telling this item to make itself that. So we can reuse it. And we need to set up the view um, in a certain way. So they have this view item. So we, what we'll do is since we already um, set this property, the my quick look item as a quick look view, all we can do, all we need to do is use this and say we want a new quick look preview view, not a panel, we want a view. And then we just have to add in a constructor. And then if you actually look through this, there is a constructor for these. And the one that we're going to use is this constructor here. A different style, um, different sizes and whatnot. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go 0, 0. And I'm going to say, I'm going to get rid of this, me.with. And me dot height. And if we look here, all we want to do is put like this kind of uh, thing here. We're actually going to take the same style, this compact style. So I'm just going to copy this from the example. There is actually two different um, styles this can be. So if we go here. One is called normal. It uh, uses full previews. And this compact is used more like in an inspector. So that's really the difference. OK. So now we just have to pass in a couple properties here. So we keep calling um, the property that we made, this item. Whoops. And now, actually, for property, we want to just use dots. So I'm going to start off with the preview item, which is the item that's going to be previewed. Uh, when we first get the view, uh, this is launched right when the application window is opened. Um, so I'm just going to start off as nil, as no object. Otherwise, there can be an error. And I want to also give a property of auto starts. And this is really for um, movies or audio. It's a boolean value. And 
uh, last, I want to tell this item that if the window itself that the uh, view is on should close, I want um, this item to also close with the window so it's not lingering in memory. So I'm going to do that too. And all we have to do then is return this object. Oops. Return our object or this view and it will show up. Right now it won't do nothing because we haven't uh, given it a file. But it is there. You can see that it launches. So let's do that. Let's declare i as an integer. And i will equal our list box file dot list index. And if i equals negative one, then that means there's no files. If there is no files, we're just gonna tell our quick look uh, view to give it a preview item of nil, else we're going to give it the preview item. We'll just say get item. And if you remember right, our items in our list box are strings. So we have to convert it back over to a folder item for this to work. So we'll declare a string and we also will declare a folder item. Oops. Okay. So ss will equal our this box text, which will get the selected text. And f will equal get folder item. And we just have to pass in our string and then we have to tell it what kind of path it is. So it was a native path, which makes a string object. And probably a good idea is to find out beforehand whoops, if this folder item exists. So if it doesn't, it doesn't bring up an error. So we're kind of making sure it doesn't do an error. And all we have to do now is tell our quick look view item that we, and if you remember, that's declared here in the properties, the preview item to equal f. And now this should work fine. So let's try it. Let's bring it up on screen here. And let's add some files to our object here. We'll grab a couple. And as you can see now, we select our thing here, we can go through it and we can see our items here just fine within our view. Now it'd be nice to be able to see this at a bigger view. Obviously you can move this window around, but it keeps it kind of constrained. Add um, a class here, the inspector here, so we can edit this. Oops, it's off screen. I pasted this from my notes here. What it is, is we want this to be a quick look panel view MBS. So really when we go back into our notes here, now we're looking at this. So we're telling this class right here, or we're trying to say we want this class that we're going to have here. And we're going to call this something else. We'll call it something like my QL panel. Okay, and we're going to want to add some events. Right now we can't add event, but we can add a property. And a purse property I'm going to call QLF. So my quick look file, and I'm just going to call this a folder item. Okay. And now we can also add um, some events to this. There are several events you can add, see as you can see here. And if we go up to our panels, our uh, quick look panel here, you can see there's a number of events right here. It gives you information. You can click on them. It gives you more information. 
So we really only need for this particular thing two things. Uh, the number of preview items that we want and our preview at index. You can add other things. But um, the number of preview items that we want, we really only want to show one thing at a time, but you can have it so it shows a whole bunch of things in sort of um, a grid view. We don't want that. So all I'm going to do is say return one. So I only want it to return one object. And then here I want it to our panel. I want it to return our folder item that we're going to pass to it. So then remember down here, we declared this property as a folder item. So we're going to pass in this folder item later up here. And if you remember, let's just make sure here. Yep, that's a folder item. Okay. And then over here, preview item. And all we have to do is pass in what we call this class thing. So I'm going to say my QL panel. And as you can see, it started auto typing. Um, so this is a way we can call it from this window. And let's just copy this. A quick look panel button. So I just copied and pasted that. And what we're going to say is new my QL panel. As you remember, because this is a class file, let's bring that inspector up one more time. It's really what we're doing is we're calling the quick look panel MBS when we say do that. Okay? So. We're going to declare i as an integer here. And we're going to say, hey, i equals our list box files list index. So if we're going to get how many files there is. And if i equals negative 1, then right now we're not going to do anything. But we can do something else, some other kind of feedback if there is none. For now, we're just going to skip that. So we're going to declare a string. And we're also going to declare a folder item. Because what we have to do is, remember, our list box is a string. It's a native path uh, being displayed on screen. And we want to just get that path back and convert it back into a folder item. So we'll do that by doing this. This is pretty similar to what we just did in the panel view. Now we're really just uh, doing the same thing to the panel, uh, the panel view instead of the, uh, the NS view. So we just have to tell it to set this file, the quick look file, to F. And all the stuff is actually going to be done in this class file that we did before. Um, when it says preview item at index, so really we're activating that right here with this block of code. And then we just need to tell that panel we want it to show on screen. And that should work right there. And that should be all we need to do. Okay, we do have, oh, and here's an error. So we definitely want our folder item to be F as folder item, not F folder item. That would definitely bring up an error. And this should do it. This should do everything we needed to do. So let's just grab all these files. And as you can see, we can go through the files. You can remove file if we want. We can do a full preview. And as you can see, when you bring a full preview, we get the things we can share here. If we want, we can open it in preview. So as you can see, it works pretty much all the way through. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.